The word conjures visions of destruction, scenes of suffering and devastation. But it is also one of the great wonders of nature, a phenomenon of immense power and unpredictability. Despite extensive research into earthquakes, our scientists still cannot prevent them, nor can they predict precisely when or where they may occur. Yet with great certainty, seismologists say a major earthquake will occur in the central United States, probably before the turn of the 21st century. This is not just speculation. An overwhelming amount of scientific and historical evidence supports this conclusion. The quake will occur, maybe tomorrow, maybe in 10, 20, or 30 years. To be more precise is still impossible. Most people, while watching the nightly news, have viewed scenes of cities ravaged by earthquakes. Yet few have any real concept of how powerful, how errantly destructive a quake can be. Imagine a tornado ripping through your town. Horrible as it may be, it is nothing compared to the power released during a major earthquake. Then imagine thousands of tornadoes tearing through an area as large as several states. If you can grasp the immensity, you are just beginning to realize how a quake can lay waste entire cities, how it can indiscriminately injure and kill hundreds and thousands of people. Remember, there is no guarantee a tornado will rip through your town. But if you live in the central United States, you will experience an earthquake. Exactly where the quake will occur or what communities will be hit hardest is impossible to say. Here in western Tennessee is visible evidence of the most severe series of earthquakes in the history of the United States. Before the earthquake struck in the winter of 1811 and 1812, this was an 18-mile stretch of cypress forest. The earthquakes caused the ground to sink as much as 20 feet, creating what is known today as Real Foot Lake. While another earthquake of this magnitude is unlikely in the central United States for several hundred years, it is likely that the energy released by a quake of lesser magnitude will topple buildings and cause death and destruction. Dr. Otto Nutley, a geophysicist at St. Louis University, has long been recognized as the leading authority on earthquake activity in the central United States. If my calculations are correct, there's enough energy stored up in the rock right now to produce a magnitude 7.6 earthquake, which if it were to occur, would be a very, very large earthquake. It would be a major earthquake. Since 1974, scientists have detected 200 earthquakes a year of at least 1.0 on the Richter scale in the central United States. Because it takes sensitive instruments to detect many of these quakes, few people are aware of the danger. The quakes share no single fault and have been centered near such distant cities as Lawrenceville, Illinois, Cleveland, Ohio, and Marked Tree, Arkansas. Scientists tell us stress is constantly building along the earthquake faults within the central United States. Sooner or later, the energy will be released in the form of a major earthquake. Because residents of the central United States live with the threat of a damaging earthquake, each of us should be aware of what to expect when the quake occurs. When the quake does occur, there will be no warning. Instantly, the ground will start moving, and it could last seconds or minutes. There's no way of knowing. There will be no time to assess the situation, no time to make plans, to exit buildings, or to gather supplies. Buildings with wooden frames will most likely sustain the least damage. More rigid structures of brick, stone, and concrete block are most likely to sustain damage. Many schools and public buildings fall into this category. Public officials should be aware of the danger and start preparing now. Historical earthquakes of 7.6 Richter magnitude have twisted railroad tracks and knocked down power lines. Gas mains were severed and communication systems shut down. Many highways and airport runways were rendered useless. A major earthquake in the central United States 
will have an immediate and major impact on transportation commerce and communication systems nationwide in the event of a major quake survival could well depend on your state of preparedness on how quickly you act watch and listen closely for the next few minutes and learn what to do before during and after the quake during a quake most injuries are caused by falling objects large and heavy pieces of furniture such as bookcases should be fastened to wall studs it's wise to securely attach gas appliances to walls or floors be aware of potential fire risks and know where to shut off electricity at the main switch and gas and water valves where they enter the home also every household should have an earthquake and disaster preparedness kit the kit should contain a flashlight and portable radio both with fresh batteries you should have plenty of fresh water and non-perishable food your kit also should contain blankets first aid supplies and tools such as a crescent wrench that would help you survive in the event of a quake if you're indoors during a quake stay indoors and take cover under a heavy table or desk other places of safety include halls doorways and interior walls if you're outside stay outside and move away from buildings and utility lines and if you're in a car stay there when you drive on be watchful for hazards created by the quake such as power lines after an earthquake you will experience aftershocks most of these are likely to be of lesser intensity than the main shock but they are capable of causing additional destruction so stay out of heavily damaged buildings check for injuries as soon as possible those who are seriously injured should not be moved unless in danger of further injury don't smoke or use an open flame the possibility of gas leaks is high following an earthquake if you do smell gas open windows shut off the main gas valve and report the leak to authorities of course there are many other tips for how you can prepare for an earthquake and there are places you can go to seek answers your local disaster and emergency services or civil defense for example the local fire department can advise you on how to minimize fire risks and the red cross has information on first aid procedures because we know a major earthquake could occur at any time, it is impossible to be too prepared. The more you know about your home, office, and surroundings, the better off you will be. Don't be unprepared for the coming quake. When you realize it's only a matter of time, you've taken the first step toward saving your life and the lives of those you love. The quake will happen. If we are prepared, we can save lives.